stock of the day yesterday was granules and continues to be on the buy side this morning. The company has delivered numbers that have beaten street expectations on pretty much every front. Krishna Prasad Chigurupati, founder, chairman and MD of Granules India, joins in. Hi, Mr. Chigurupati. Thanks a ton for taking out the time to talk to us this morning. It's been a significantly strong quarter for your company. Walk us through what went behind such a solid performance. Top line's also done well, revenues have improved, margins have jumped up significantly. Is that largely on back of how well the formulation business has done for you? Uh, you're perfectly right. It's the formulation business. The share of the formulation business, the entire revenue has gone up to uh, 76%. It was about 55% two years ago. Last year, it was 65 And as per our plan, we actually plan to shift all of our APIs uh, and PFIs into FDs. We are on track, and that's what has really contributed to the growth in profitability. Break down your top line for me. I know API, paracetamol API continues to witness a decline, and formulation uh, continues to see an up move. Uh, break that down for us, and also going into the rest of the year, are you anticipating the contribution from your formulation business to grow? And if yes, what sort of a number are you looking at? Formulation business, as per plan, will continue to grow as we go forward. And ultimately, we may end up at around 80% or 82%. Uh, coming back to the API and paracetamol, this year, actually from last uh, fourth quarter of last year, uh, paracetamol situation has been very bad. Uh, all of our customers abroad have overstocked, and they have inventories for the last time another six to eight months. And also, uh, in the last uh, one year, a lot of new capacity had come up in paracetamol, anticipating a huge demand and a surplus capacity and no demand. So it's very bad. And I think it's going to take at least uh, two to three quarters for paracetamol to rebound. So meanwhile, uh, the formulation business and other APIs actually are, are other, AP, other formulations. Uh, the core products used to be uh, about 90% uh, a few years ago. Today, they've gone down to 65% uh, and other products have come to 35%, which is a good growth in our basket. And this is what is helping us in keeping up our revenues in spite of a debacle of paracetamol. Uh, Mr. Chigurupati, very good morning. The manna here. Uh, so, like you said, your formulations business has sort of offset the paracetamol pain. You've seen a growth of 65% year on year. Do you see it sustaining at those levels? What is the outlook for uh, formulations even while you're expecting some time to recovery for the paracetamol side of things? Yeah, good morning, Tamanna. Uh, per, uh, formulations will continue to grow. We have been filing a lot of products in the US, Europe, and across the world, and uh, it will continue to grow in absolute numbers. There will be a decent growth. As a percentage, like I said, it could plateau at 80%, 82%, because we do have a fairly sizable business on PFIs. And APIs, of course, we do make a lot of APIs, but all are consumed in-house. We don't sell most of the APIs outside. So. To answer your question, the formulation business will continue to grow. Uh, what about your oncology products? Is I'm just trying to understand. I know they come on board in FY26. Is that going to be sort of the game changer? Can you give us a bit more detail there? Uh, we have entered a new phase, uh, uh, Thamana. Uh, onco is one of those areas. We have a lot of uh, P4s, uh, first two files, and uh, first two launch products. And the game has changed for us. We were always in P3s. Now we have entered more challenging areas. And onco, we have a few molecules which we expect could really change the course of granules. It's still some time away, 27, possibly 26, 27. And some of these patents will expire in US in 30 or 29. So there's a lot of products like this, not only in onco, where we have many interesting uh, P4s and also some products where we have created our own IP and others may not be able to get into these products. What do you what do you mean when you say change the course, Mr. Chigurupati? I'd love to understand uh, what the tragedy could be if, if it indeed materialized on the timelines that you mentioned. Uh, change the course. We were uh, focused mostly on P3's large volume products, and uh, this will continue to be our core. Uh, instead of five products, we may have 15 products in the large volume category. And that will keep our foundations very, very strong and continue to throw up cash to uh, fuel our aspirations in other areas. So there will be a sizable contribution coming from these new products. 
uh, today we would not uh, be able to say what percentage, but definitely the profitability on these new products where we have patent challenges could be uh, very different from what we enjoy today. Uh, would, would love to understand the slightly longer picture. Uh, two years ago, the belief was that there will be some bit of a stake sale that could happen in granules. I remember last quarter or the quarter before last, you came in and vehemently denied it on our channel and said that the outlook is so strong that I don't want to sell anything of my company. Would love to understand, is that strong outlook for a five-year period a 15% growth CAGR? Is it a slightly higher growth CAGR? Give some color. Uh, now, selling, selling a part of the stake, let me explain. Definitely, there's no plan, but if you have observed uh, a few months ago, I sold a small percentage just to uh, get rid of my debt and also create a little liquidity for myself. Now that I've done this, absolutely there's no need for a, for a very long time to even think of selling the company. Now, uh, the second question, uh, Neeraj, sorry, I just missed it out. No, I was asking, so you, you didn't think of not selling the company because you may be happy with a 5% CAGR growth, right? I think your ambitions are bigger. So would love to understand that if I look at granules from now, over the next five years, what is the growth aspiration, sir? Okay, let me explain. For the last many years, 15 years, first two, five year uh, periods, we were growing at more than 20%. Only last few years, there was a little drop. And I'm uh, very confident and we are aspiring to get back to our 20% CAGR. Uh, anywhere from 15 to 20%, we should be able to do this going forward. Right. Uh, you want to just talk to us about... Uh the next couple of years, right? Like you've already mentioned the sort of growth you're targeting, uh, Mr. Krishna. But break it down for us. What verticals? I know North America has done exceptionally well for you this quarter. Last quarter, you've talked about how you want to increase your footprint in markets across Europe as well. Uh, where and how do you expect those geographies to play out for you looking ahead? Uh, US will continue to be our primary focus and it will continue to be our major market. While uh, Europe and other places grow in absolute numbers, as a percentage, they may not really uh, make a huge difference. They, I don't think uh, uh, Europe will ever go to 40% of our revenues. US will continue to be there. And when we look at the breakup of different segments or verticals, of, uh, Onco is going to be a big uh, area going forward. And then there are a new set of products which are in the uh, core area, of the old uh, type of business. Uh, which are high volume products, P3s, which we have already got approvals, we have launched. Now we are ma manufacturing those APIs for ourselves uh, using differentiated technologies like enzyme and flow. It, we believe we are going to have a great advantage on cost of APIs and that should be a game changer. And there are also a few products where we have made a differentiated technologies in formulations, which also give us a good advantage. That's in the P3 segment. Now coming to Patent challenges, we have a range of products that uh, uh, where we have uh, very innovative formulations. Uh, and we not only were able to uh, challenge the patents, existing patents, but we believe that uh, we have created our own IP and it may be possibly difficult for other people to follow us there. And another segment is the uh, US business itself. We manufacture products in GPI, uh, our US subsidiary, and we concentrate mostly on CNS and ADHD drugs. And these products are really growing in demand, and we see that that is another area that will drive our business. And fourth is our OTC private label business. This has been growing very fast. We supply to all the chain stores in the US, the OTC molecules, and uh, we have been having a 30, 35% growth in this, area, in this area. Of course, the base was small, and that continues to grow. These are the four areas, API, uh, efficient API manufacturing, uh, new support uh, feeding into uh, new, new launches, uh, ADHD drugs in US, OTC. These are the areas, and finally the P4 challenges, which will uh, get us into uh, a very uh, challenging and exciting area. Right. So we'll continue to talk about business, but quickly you mentioned in Neeraj that you had sold a little bit of stake to retire personal debt. The debt on the books of the company is close to 850 crores. It's up from the 600, 700 odd we had seen in the same quarter last year. Any plans to retire debt or you're, you're comfortable at this debt equity ratio? We are comfortable. I think we are at 0.77 debt equity ratio. 
and we are comfortable up to one. I think I've always been consistent in saying that one is the limit. We will not cross a one. Uh, and uh, anywhere below one, we are quite comfortable. We have no plans to retire debt. We would like to grow rather than retire debt. I wanted to get a better sense of what's happening in the US market. Obviously, um, a big contributor to your revenues. Uh, is the kind of price control that we're seeing there a pain point that you see escalating for you, Mr. Chiguropati? And what is your outlook on the kind of growth that will come from US? US price erosion has always been challenging. Mm. Uh, but, it, but, but it's worsened know, It's worsened in the recent times. That's why I'm asking how you look at it. How much of a pain uh, point is it? I'm not sure if it has worsened in the last quarter or two quarters. Uh, I sort of, it's sort of stabilized. It's not very high, maybe mid uh, single digits. That's what it has been. But uh, even when it was much higher than that, we were always constantly improving our uh, efficiencies, uh, manufacturing excellence. We were able to compete and increase our share of business. So we will continue to do that. Uh, improvement in manufacturing is an ongoing thing. Uh, we will face the challenges on price erosion. And whatever happens in the US market last few years, we have been growing in that area. So we'll continue to do so. Okay. Okay, Mr. Chakrupati, the other aspect is um, the, uh, the, the whole value chain. Um, notes speak about how you're also trying to backward integrate as also move up the value chain for better growth, better profitability. Um, how do you do this? Is this significant capex or not quite? Can you, can you uh, give us some insights? Going backwards, integrating backwards, the capex is needed, but not a huge lot. We already have some facilities, our unit five in Vizac, which was not uh, uh, really contributing for a few years, that we are exploiting now, and we are expanding there for API capacities. So it will not need a lot of capex, maybe. Uh, we will continue to maintain our capex between uh, four to 500 crores every year, and that will be split between uh, API expansion and formulation expansions. Our GLS plant, which is near, at Genome Valley here, is uh, partly operational now, and it will be fully operational by January. That should give us about 10 billion uh, doses of uh, formulations that will keep us going for a few years, and uh, backward integration will continue to grow. Thank you very much, uh, sir, for joining us this morning. Uh, congratulations and good luck. Uh, looks promising for Granules, and we hope all your plans uh, play out as expected. We'll hopefully see you soon as well.